the accumulation of archaeological proof supporting the existence of early religious behaviors among Neanderthals keeps increasing. Charles Darwin was not alone in his era in championing the concept of evolution. Since the last decade of the 18th century, the idea of species transformation through evolutionary processes had firmly established itself within the intellectual circles of Western Europe. As a result, well before the publication of Darwin's seminal work, On the Origin of Species in 1859, opponents had already formulated a repertoire of common criticisms against the notion of evolution. Among these criticisms were grievances about the incompleteness of the fossil record. The fossils did not seem to include any of the intermediary species that the theories of evolution deemed necessary. In response to these critiques, Darwin and his contemporaries offered several counter-arguments. They highlighted the infrequency with which conditions conducive to fossil formation occur, and they urged their critics to exercise patience. The subsequent discovery in Germany of the Archaeopteryx fossil in 1860, a dinosaur exhibiting both reptilian and avian characteristics, vindicated their call for patience. This find underscored the wisdom of their response and provided tangible evidence of the evolutionary transitions skeptics had claimed were absent from the fossil record. The dawn of the 21st century has been marked by an abundance of archaeological discoveries and advancements in the technology for extracting analyzable DNA from ancient remains. These breakthroughs have unveiled three previously unknown species within our own genus, Homo, and have provided irrefutable evidence of interbreeding between our ancestors and Homo denisova, as well as with Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis. Such revelations prompt us to ponder if the species that were closely connected with our forebears, particularly Neanderthals who practiced burial of their deceased, might have exhibited early forms of religious behavior. This inquiry leads us to revisit enduring debates regarding the definitions of religion and religiosity. Can the act of burying the dead, for instance, be considered a definitive marker of religious sentiment or practice? What does it reveal about the cognitive and emotional capacities of a species that engages in such rituals? Neanderthals showed a distinct behavior towards their dead. They did not disregard their bodies nor discard them thoughtlessly, indicating a level of respect or significance attributed to the deceased. Yet, there are scholars who hold reservations regarding the interpretation of Neanderthal burials, specifically the fact that only a minor portion of Neanderthal deceased were buried, coupled with the long-standing belief that Neanderthal graves lacked any form of grave goods, presumably intended for use in the afterlife, has fueled skepticism. Addressing these doubts, it becomes relevant to draw some parallels between the behaviors of Neanderthals and those of Homo sapiens around 50,000 years ago. Notably, the oldest unequivocal burial identified thus far belonged to a Neanderthal. Moreover, it seems that Homo sapiens of that era did not extensively bury their dead either. Additionally, their burials from that time did not feature significant quantities or varieties of grave goods, unlike those found 30,000 years later. The discourse on the presence or absence of grave goods in Neanderthal burials resurrects the cautious approach once advocated by 19th-century Darwinians. As of 35 years ago, archaeologists had not discovered any persuasive evidence of Neanderthal grave goods, suggesting a nuanced view of early human and Neanderthal burial practices and their implications for understanding cultural and religious behaviors. However, in the time since those initial observations, archaeologists have unearthed a variety of items within Neanderthal burial sites that hold significant cultural value. These discoveries encompass a range of objects, including goat horns, hooves of horses, claws of panthers, talons of eagles, feathers, and notably, in several instances, lithics, that is, stone tools. These findings challenge previous assumptions and suggest a more complex understanding of Neanderthal practices, potentially indicating ritualistic or symbolic behavior associated with their burials. Recent archaeological discoveries have shed light on the complex symbolic behaviors of Neanderthals, revealing a depth of cultural practices that surpasses what was previously conceived by early researchers. It is now established that Neanderthals engaged in forms of bodily decoration, utilizing pigments, feathers, birds' claws, and shells, 
A significant breakthrough came with the documentation of Neanderthal cave art in Gibraltar, revealing engravings that predate the renowned cave paintings in southern France by thousands of years and were created before modern Homo sapiens arrived in that region of the Iberian Peninsula. The association of religions with collective rituals brings into focus the discovery at Brunichel Cave in southwestern France, which may serve as compelling evidence of Neanderthal proto-religious activities. Deep within the cave, approximately 300 meters from the entrance, lies a constructed site made from over 400 stalagmites, deliberately broken and arranged into two circular barriers on the cave floor, with some forming smaller structures within the larger circle. Evidence of burned bones and signs of fire exposure on nearly 100 stalagmites around the circles were also discovered. The resemblance of these arrangements to modern-day ritual sites is remarkable. What is particularly astonishing is the age of the Brunichel site constructions and the evidence of fire usage dating back approximately 175,000 years. This timeline places the site's creation more than 100,000 years before Homo sapiens migrated into Europe, providing a striking glimpse into the sophisticated and potentially ritualistic behaviors of Neanderthals long before the arrival of modern humans. What do you think about these evidences? Do you think they indeed practiced religion? Please put forward your views in comments section. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.